Hello dear traders, this is Petko Aleksandrov and I continue with the second strategy for the Bitcoin which is a gain for M15 chart and before I show you the strategy I will just need to open another chart window which I can do if I right click over the Bitcoin in the market watch and I click on chart window you will see that a new chart opens and it has totally different layout but you can customize that as I've said if I go to properties and I can uncheck show grid and as well colors if I click on reset I will reset it to the black background which I have used on the first chart okay so if you want to save any of the layouts as templates you can do that just go to template and you can save template and you can name it anyway and then when you open a new chart you will be able to switch to your favorite template quickly from template so I have done already black background and you see this is the one that I will be using so the second strategy for the Bitcoin this is the and I call it or it is the ENDE strategy and I call it this way because of the entry indicators okay I use envelopes and I use the demarker as confirmation so I just take the first two letters E N and D E and this is just my own system of naming some of the strategies that I use so it's easier for me to remember them and to apply them you can see that the exit indicators are the alligator in this case and I have stop loss of $70 take profit of $200 very good risk reward with the strategy and now I will explain how it works and I will look for some examples the first indicator that I will add this is uh, the envelopes I will go to insert indicators trend and I go to envelopes and the default value is 14 as period I will change it to 11 and the deviation is 0.39 if I click on OK, you will see how the envelopes look like. These are two kind of moving averages that go in parallel and usually the price stays between them. If I zoom out, you will see that the price stays between the two bands of the envelopes and when there is volatility like over here it gets outside the bands okay and this strategy by the way it works on M15 something I forgot to switch on the chart so make sure to use it on the right time frame but no matter on which time frame you look at the envelopes you will always see that the price stays inside the envelopes when there is no volatility and when there is volatility it gets outside the bands and this is exactly what I will be using for this strategy so with this strategy we buy let me just zoom it we buy when the price gets outside the bands and it gets inside back or to make it more precise we say that we buy when the price gets outside we see a bar opening above the upper band and if we have a bar that opens below the upper band after that this is our entry on the opening of the next bar which confirms that there is a cross of the bands but we have one confirmation and this is the demarker which must be higher than the level line I will go to insert indicators and the demarker is with uh, the oscillators I click on it and I will be using period of 36 for the moment and levels of 0 0.75 and below it will be 0 0.25 usually the levels they always sum to 100 okay so if we use 0 0.75 below we will have 0 0.25 and I click on ok and you will see how the D marker looks like so the D marker must be higher than the level line which is 0 0.75 and in this example right here you will see that we don't have confirmation okay because when we have a bar opening above the band and then we have another one opening inside the envelopes this is 
the signal but we need to see at the very same time that the demarker is above the level line which in this case is below so there is no confirmation where I see the demarker above is just right here right here in this case you can see that we don't have a confirmation because with these candlesticks here we have a bar that opens outside the band but then the next one that opens inside is here and the demarker is already below the level line let me look for an example I don't think I will find one here because here we have as well signal we have a bar that opens inside you see the price goes up and then it goes in but the demarker at that moment is still below the level line all right let me look for a long trade example because already i have shown to you examples with the short trade so i want to show an example where we are actually buying and not selling let's see what we have here right over here you can see that we have the confirmation all right so the price goes outside the envelopes and at the same time right here we have the D marker above the level line so the first bar that opens inside is this one you can see this bar opens outside the band and this one opens inside so this is a signal to buy right over here here it is let me put one vertical and one horizontal line and you will see that uh, at that moment we have the D marker above the level line of 075 which is the confirmation and I will leave the horizontal line green because it's a long trade or we buy at that moment and what we will have for this strategy we will have a stop loss of $70 so let me put quickly one horizontal line $70 lower so we are at 10,630 4 minus 70 let me quickly take the calculator and I always do it very precisely and especially if we use the expert advisors it is very precise but for the example sometimes I don't calculate uh, like the cents but what I would do normally is 10,634.78 all right if I want to be precise minus $70 and that is 10,000 564.78 and then I will just right click on the horizontal line properties I will change it to red because this is a stop loss in this case and I will enter the value which is 10,564.78 and I click on OK and it gets on the right spot the very same way I am placing a take profit now it is red because I changed the color on the other horizontal line but I will change it to green because this is our take profit and the parameters will be 10,636.78 plus $200 that is very easy actually to calculate 10,800 34.78 and I click on OK and here it is all right so here is the entry at this moment we have the signal from the envelopes the price gets outside gets inside we have a bar that opens inside the envelope so this is our entry at the very same moment the demarker is above the level line which is confirmation and at the moment when you open the trade you need to put your stop loss and your take profit so you're protecting your capital and at the same time you are ensuring profits if the price goes in your favor or in your direction. Now before we see what happens with this example that I just took very randomly on the chart, I will put the exit indicator which is the alligator and the alligator is very interesting indicator. I will look for it in indicators and I go to custom and here it is alligator and it has jaws teeth and lips it's very popular indicator and it has many strategies but we will be using something very very simple so 
the values that I will be using is 20 for Joe's period and I have shift of 18 and then I will use teeth period of 18 and shift of 8 and for the lips I will have period of 8 and lips shift 5 and I click on OK and you will see another three lines over the chart so these two on the top this is the envelopes that are parallel and you see the other three they're crossing each other the green one if I put the mouse on it this is the lips the red line is the teeth and the blue one is the jaws what we have as an exit rule for the long trade is the lips crosses the teeth downwards the lips crosses the teeth downwards so when the green line crosses the red line downwards we exit the trade no matter is it on profit is it on loss and the blue line we don't use it in this case which is uh, the jaws all right and let's see what happens with this example you can see the price just goes sideways and here you see it touches the take profit exactly by the way but I think before that we have the exit the green line crosses the red line downwards no not yet not yet we'll see where it crosses it it crosses it I guess later so stay with me and follow the green one that red is from the envelopes okay so we follow this green and this red and I think they will be crossing a little bit later right here yes that's right it's just too many lines now so it's really hard sometimes to follow this strategy let me take the cross here okay so this blue line is from the envelopes right and this red one which is from the envelopes is parallel to the blue you see them here and here so I'm looking at the other red one this one over here and you can see that the green one crosses the red one right over here now not to get confused usually I change the color either to the envelopes or to the alligator now because I'm used with the alligator what I usually do is I change the color of the envelopes and I just make it two same colors so I will take aqua as well for the lower band and I click on OK and now I think it's much easier because both bands for the envelopes are blue and we have the green line from the alligator and the red one and we wanted to see that the green one is crossing the red line downwards and this happens at that moment it's right over here so we would be closing this trade at the level of uh, 10,696 which is about $62, $61 something higher and we take a profit you see if I don't use the exit rule what happens after that the price goes up impulsively and we would have uh, the take profit now in this situation here I don't really think that the take profit would be hit because you see it's just touching it and it happens in trading that sometimes you will see the price getting very very close to your take profit but it will not hit it it's just sometimes it's really just a couple of cents and uh, it goes back and it can go back to your stop loss which is not really the best feeling but it happens okay let me zoom out to show you one more time the example here it is here we have the confirmation from the demarker and here is our entry take profit stop loss then I'm following the lips and the teeth from the alligator I want to see the green line crossing the red line downwards which happened right over here and we would close the trade on a profit and then you see that the price hits the take profit impulsively higher so that's quite interesting example that I have selected because first the price goes very close to the take profit I really can't say in a hundred percent if that 
would close the take profit because it's just touching it but then it goes down back to the entry level and then when we have the exit the price goes to the take profit so when you start practicing you will see that there are so many different outcomes for each strategy sometimes the take profit will be hit sometimes the stop loss sometimes the take profit is very close but the price goes down and in this case i always like to say that if i am in front of the screen and i see the price getting very close to my take profit i will just close the trade manually and i will take my profit okay because anyway there is always the risk that the price reverses and you lose the profit but that's up to you usually when i trade with the expert advisors or I trade these strategies manually, I don't touch it, okay? So I'll leave it to the expert advisor in 100%. All right, so these are the rules that we have for this strategy. Two entry indicators, one exit indicator. And if we are selling, we are using just the very same thing on the opposite side. We wanna see a bar that opens below the lower band and then a bar opening inside the envelopes but at the same time the demarker must be below the level line of 0.25 in this case let's see where we have a confirmation right over here okay with this impulsive movement downwards we have a confirmation and let me remove all the lines so you will see it clearly here the D marker is already below the lower band and the first bar that opens inside is right over here all right so at this moment we would be selling at about 10,628 and in this case i think our take profit would be hit 200 dollars lower is at 10,000 427 yeah right here we would take the profit all right so this is on the other side and the exit would be when the green line crosses the red line upwards which in this case happens somewhere in here all right guys so this is the strategy in both directions when you want to buy and when you want to sell you have the envelopes as an entry, demarker as confirmation, stop loss of 70, take profit of 200. And these, one more time, are the values that I use for the current moment. And we have the alligator, which is an exit indicator. So as I said, when I change the parameters in the strategies, I just simply change the PDF for myself as well and you will find it attached so you will always know what are the current parameters that i'm using for these strategies all right guys so this was the bitcoin strategy that i'm using quite successfully if you have enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel to get more of our free content for trading bye